Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be a very, very long video, and the reason I decided to take this approach in terms of gameplay that I have in the background is I decided to showcase as much of the map as humanly possible, bake in as many tips as I could think of as I'm talking through the gameplay, and I took a bunch of my moments. I have 11 kill game on Loba, one is Ash, got really great gameplay on Watson as well, and I really want to talk through it. Some of it's in my Watson guide. So first off, let's just get into it. Let's start talking tips. This is the center of the map, and when I was giving the tip about the grass, and also real quick, I'm getting hit by a prowler here. So the wildlife, as you can tell, you saw that it dropped a light ammo there, and it also levels up my Evo. The biggest thing, I wasn't ready for the prowlers just to jump on me and start attacking. This round, we were queuing random. You'll notice that the amount of people in the server is less. It's usually around... 30 to 45 that were in the server and the interesting part is as we talk through this gameplay is I, I'm kind of curious how the servers are going to play out when they're full the reason why is that this was a private capture event so you, I segue here and I showcase that first footage because in the center of the map the prowlers and this was north of where I'm landing here while it seems really cool it is a hot zone beyond belief that everyone is just going to push and attack from very, very big. So what we're going to highlight here is some of the footage that I went over through the Watson gameplay. I'm going to timestamp everything so you can switch to gameplay. So if you watch the Watson guide, you can skip ahead and not have to see any of this. But the reason why I chose this footage at the start, you can see the scope overall of the map. It's really, really large. Larger than you would... Than you think. I know some people saw images and they thought it looked small. This is larger than Olympus. It's definitely a really large map. So the gameplay here, especially when I'm playing as Watson, tips that I've already talked about in the Watson guide is playing your structures. You'll notice that a lot of the map is very open, which is a good thing and the bad thing. The south side of the map tends to be a lot more open. The north side and northwest tends to be a lot more confined and have a lot more areas to where you can play positioning and angles. There's a lot more choke points on the north side of the map. There's a lot more open areas on the south side of the map. South side of the map, you can benefit more from the gravity cannons, which is a plus. You see one in the background there on the far right. They definitely shoot you quite far. So this is where the benefit comes from Watson. If you do play on the south side of the map, play these buildings. All these buildings are very unique and custom to this map specifically which I found very interesting. They're not just the stock maps that you get from King's Canyon and World's Edge anymore. We have a lot of new structures. And it's gonna take some getting used to understanding how to, I guess, play and find out the loot table. That was one of my tips as well, where you're not used to these structures, so you don't necessarily know where to run for the loot like you normally would, which is a good thing and a bad thing. So you saw here the position was revealed by Ash, which is, pretty cool so the reason why it was revealed is because they're utilizing the her passive ability so it's really important to see they will find out your positioning and they can definitely push in third so pretty clean setup here again just a reminder this video is going to be very long I, I think it's going to be upwards from around 50 minutes maybe but at least you get to see a lot of gameplay and you and i can just bake in as much tips as humanly possible to help you guys out Rather than just kind of flooding into tips videos, giving something with a little bit more meat and detail. Her fences do come up a lot more frequently. I talk about that in the Watson rework video as well, but you can see it here in real time. I'm going to skip just a little bit ahead. I think it skips ahead already for us. And we'll talk about the gameplay that we see here. So I use a gen. The gen is a lot faster, but you'll notice that it, it depletes. It doesn't go away until it actually gets destroyed. That's one of the big things. The downside, again, is that it only regens for a certain amount of health. Think of it like a, a lifeline tactical ability. I get punched out here, my teammates clutch it out, and they res me, and everything is great. There's a lot of zip lines. Some of these zip lines, just a little tip here, tend to... We notice that they tend to bug out. I don't know if that's going to come in the live environment, but if you super jump on the zip line you tend to go up faster especially in the structures more so than you would in i guess world's edge i think that's a bug though um, it happens more or less in these and i think it's because you the you're hitting the side of the it's it, I, I don't know how to describe it but you, it's like you hit the side of the platform so it, it propels you up higher just a little interesting little tidbit there so super glide jumper on here you'll notice especially in the confined one that i'm about to drop tends to shoot you up faster some little tip there let's skip ahead a little bit i'll promise to try to save time where i can 
but you can see the sound side of the map at least you get a, a little bit sound structure of what everything looks like I covered this in the Watson video so go watch that in the Watson video when I push here and I don't want to kind of double up too much on content for you guys that kind of want to get some new and refreshing content that's uh, going to be able to give more tips so as you rotate you see the spiders on the mini map on the upper left hand side you when you have the spiders you're going to notice and there's the ash ult just for rotation which is nice and then we're gonna use the gravity cannon here so getting around it the the spider nest you have to physically shoot i don't think i physically shot the spider nest just because when you're fighting it, it, it does bring a lot of enemies or it, it's inviting for third parties and the prowlers can get quite annoying but if you're looking to level up your armor and you need resources then it almost becomes a mandatory thing so this is a rotation. You can have all three people in this, actually. I, I don't think I added that in the tips. You can put all three people and all shoot yourself off right away. This structure is new right here, by the way. These are, are also new. I don't know if I actually go in it. But if you go inside, there's like three different layers in there. Again, it seems like everything here was met with a lot of love because it's not just stock stuff. It was all new. It's all built differently. And it, it has a very Jurassic Park s kind of theme which i found very fascinating and interesting um i guess one little thing here that i use a gen for especially for watson that i could have done better at is I mean, we needed to move forward specifically but i had the gen there in case they were going to nade us out there's two teams in front and remember the rule the tip that i gave is that there's a lot of rotation on this map i don't know how much this is going to apply to competitive but you see i can go on the right i have the left and then there's a lot of areas here to kind of I guess move around from which is really really interesting it doesn't feel like you're just caught out and they really managed to put a lot of I guess you can call it geometry rocks trees so I never really and again remember the servers were a little lighter but I never really felt like our team was just caught out you know I felt that same way about Olympus so we're gonna have to see if this plays out the same way as well and look at the glaive from Ash I know in the guide we cover that as well the glaives go really 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 far which is pretty cool to see as well so these structures we were gonna Valk ult but I kind of felt confident that we could stay you can see us talking in game to each other um, it's very very interesting I think these structures these buildings are Let's see if I actually run inside. I think I just take the the top of the building. And more footage I know we use the inside of it. Here's the ash ult for the quick rotation that you can see. I, I gave this tip as well where a lot of mobility legends benefit a ton from utilizing the height. Like Horizon is really good on this map. Ash is really good. I was still I'm still trying to figure out Watson's rework, which is why I was playing her in this footage. And then I was using Loba specifically. If you do not understand the loot table. That's fine. Just just use Loba for a little bit until you figure it out. So you see the inside of these buildings, how the loot isn't necessarily where you might think it is. So it kind of seems that the loot table is dry, but it's not. And this was already pretty much looted already. But you'll find that you, in time, I know as we get used to the map, we'll know where loot is more or less. So we don't have to worry. So what happens here towards the end of this round? We didn't win this, but I, we did pretty solid is that we just got thirded in the back we didn't hear the team we we're trying to hold this angle and then we got i heard them the audio is, is kind of hit or miss for me still i feel like the footsteps are are clear but i could be crazy i feel like the ambiance of the map was still relatively loud especially near the area with the pink tall grass i felt like it was a little too loud and that could be just because, like, when you're in it, I don't know, it's just something I noticed. So let's skip a little bit further ahead and let's talk a little bit more about the map. Um, I think, let's see, what round is this one? Oh, I'm using the uh, the flat line, good old flat line. Let's go skip ahead and make sure I have that correct. So we're rotating. You remember how I mentioned the tridents are really, really helpful? They're pretty huge on this map, so don't really sleep on a trident. Just because you want to go from point A to point B. And it can really, really help you out. So definitely maximize on that. And these jump towers if you need to get away. Realistically, they could have gone in the jump tower, or the gravity tower, gravity cannon, excuse me, and gotten away relatively quickly on it. Because it does shoot you away, and it's really hard to track anybody on it. So if you feel like you're getting caught out, and I felt like this team, what they could have done is just stayed and, or just ran. You know, that's like one of the quickest things they could have done is just to get away. But they pretty much just gave us the loot at this point. I have way too many batteries. 
And the, you know, you know what's interesting as well. Oh, I should I should do a short on this. Is that Octane's jump pads way louder? Way way louder. By the way, they're super loud. I'll I'll do a short on it for you guys just to highlight how loud they are. But the volume on them is you can it's like you can hear them from a mile away now. It's 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 a good change. It definitely nerfs Octane Revenant pushes, and it's a at least you know it's coming from the visual cue. So we had, you remember how I mentioned how getting thirded is really rough if somebody has height? You'll notice that they have height here, but because the zone is closing, they're losing their positioning. Luckily, I didn't die here. I definitely had a rough go at it for a second, and I armor swap. So there's a there's a lot of options. They didn't necessarily have to push us or fight us. They can definitely have rotated around. It's only zone one, but they decided to, for some reason, they decided to fight us here. I'm not really sure sure why because there's a gravity cannon they could have ran past there's so much to this map in terms of sheer size and it's not to sleep on look at the amount of damage done i have 420 so that's pretty solid i suppose and in a mo moment we'll we'll skip further ahead I, I i really wanted to use the car and i i use the triple take a lot here the triple take is really strong so another big tip i can provide for you guys that are watching is snipers are really really good especially the triple tech you get so much ammo because of the amount of energy ammo that you get especially as level look i have on her 74 bullets on that triple tech do i need that much probably not i can probably drop a good amount of it but i i kind of wanted to highlight it for this video specifically where you see just how much <laughs> energy ammo that you realistically have it, it's it's pretty crazy the the amount to be honest and that's got to have to be nerfed it, the triple take feels as strong as it was in the care package i don't really feel like it was nerfed i would personally probably nerf his damage a bit it was really effective i know you can't put the largest zoom on but still it was really really good there's zip lines everywhere on this map specifically that are that are really that i really enjoy you don't ever feel like you're kind of stuck so this is one of the structures that i mentioned earlier finally ran through it I mentioned this when we were going through the Watson gameplay and there's another zip line on the left and you see the gravity cannon there. It it just feels like there's something everywhere and I wonder how chaotic this is going to feel if it's going to feel awful. In a second you'll see when we get down and how even if you're down you can utilize them to get away. And how far these things are really loud by the way. I know I'm doing commentary I don't have audio but they're quite loud so if you're going to rotate i would come with the team before you use them because when you come over you'll notice you come to a grinding halt if you're horizon that definitely helps but you still come to a grinding halt i think i tabbed out here for just a second and we'll move further ahead we do win this round by the way all right let's move a little further ahead where we see some of the action there we go. So we get into a fight here. This is by the center of the map by the pink tall grass. It's really easy to hide in this. So if you're looking for rats, unless you have a bloodhound scan you out. This looks like Jurassic Park here. The gates, specifically, very Jurassic Park X. The minute I saw them, I was like, this is Jurassic Park. This is really cool. The car SMG, as you see, bloodhound, they are using the car and it's really strong. And now you can see the power of the <laughs> triple take. There you go, 105 damage. So when I said... The triple take is strong. I was not kidding. That thing is really, really strong. It's it's a little busted. So got kill leader, and we do have the teams rotating. You see how there's the open areas? Try not to get caught out in those because they're they're really, really rough. And this is you know this is the interesting part where the team is rolling up, but I I always felt like I had somewhere to go on this map. So, well, the, these lobbies weren't necessarily full, and again, getting the, when I have the 11 kill game that you're going to see, there was only like 30 to 40 people in the lobby, so essentially that was a third of the lobby that I managed to eliminate. So I'm pretty proud of how I performed, especially queuing with just randoms and everything. We got to squad up at the end, but overall was was pretty happy with the footage that I ended up getting. Nonetheless, especially the people that were in these lobbies were like, I, I know I got to queue with No Coco in the first round. I saw it was a pro player, Etsy. Uh, I think Nicewig was in here. Gaming Merchant, Candy Roo, Boom Razzle. There was a lot of great, great players. Everyone was was very kind. Um, that's one thing I always love about the Apex Legends community is that there's a, there's a lot of kind individuals. Everyone is always very welcoming, and it's it's really nice. 
So you see, while you, you feel like you have a lot of the open spaces, what I really like about the map is that they didn't just leave these this area with just nothing here. It's really easy to hide. And it, it could be the color palette, but I mean, these the people we're playing against are not, they're good at the game. And it could be just an adjustment period to see, but I, I really got that res out in the open there. I'm really surprised I got that one. And again, this is a round we did end up winning, but it's pretty easy to hide. And I gave that in my tip where there's a lot more grass and stuff. And I don't know if this is going to be a good thing for competitive or a bad thing. It is kind of hard to see people, which I think can kind of help with more recon and positioning. And I did feel like I got rolled up on quite a bit. And maybe as we learn the map, this will become a lot easier. See how this little nook in here? There's a lot of these a lot a lot of these little nooks and areas that you can kind of position and really fight for so there's the Valk ult. like i mentioned before valkyrie and a lot of these legends have a big strong suit on rotation i think valkyrie is very much meta she's gonna be very meta on this map in terms of getting a team to a different spot there was footage later that we're gonna cover where i was shot from the high ground from a team and i didn't even know you can get up there to be honest so there's a lot of areas that Especially in these trees. I know Rogue is very good, especially in rank, finding ways to get in these trees. And I think there's probably going to be a lot of people that might be frustrated in the amount of angles and places that you can get to. So this is an open space that I mentioned not to traverse. It's really good to play legends like Loba, Wraith with her Q, Ash with her ultimate. That really helps. So we see the res over here. But once you have it, there's a lot of, a lot of zip lines. There is a lot of cover. I can't. This is giving me vibes from like an old uh, PlayStation 2 game. I can't place it specifically. The north side reminds me of Jurassic Park. The south side reminds me of a whole another game. I pass off the, the Spitfire there. I was frying with the flatline that day, and the triple take is just so good. So let's skip ahead just here in just a second here. So I got absolutely destroyed, and the person I'm playing with just popped off and took a team of three. So I'm happy about that. And then we skip ahead here. So this compound is is very much a strong point of the map. I would say, and you're going to see the downside if you play too low in the open and why the compound is much better to play than the open space. There's just so many different areas to play here. There's height advantage. I think they had to leave. Let me see if I ping it. Yeah, that was actually out of the area. But always when you're playing this map, try to play more of the compounds and the structures and don't get caught out in the open because the open areas are going to pretty much get you eliminated. See how the open area on the left there? And there is cover in the trees, but it's it's a lot more rough. So this ash was caught in a position here. And, and this is where I found the players who don't understand positioning in their weak spots really struggled on perhaps trying to find where those angles are and whenever I got eliminated on this map it was because I just didn't know where to go or where what geometry to essentially play but as you learn the geometry and you're watching this video and understanding where to play see there's another mistake that you see the Valkyrie was just playing right out in the open but she played the trees in the back and the rocks I promise you then this encounter would have played out very very differently play rocks play trees play little crevices they can provide you a lot more positioning than you realize and if you're struggling use a gravity gun to reposition another tip i can provide there's a gravity gun that you see on the right but if you take the gravity gun you can't stop when you're midway up so you saw the ash i just ran over here just to kind of ego the ash but she was essentially running away which can be great but yeah, you can see where the biggest tip and takeaway is to play whatever cover and geometry that you have. So we're flying here, and this is the end screen. Let's take a look at the end screens, because I know the end screen is new for some peeps. And I want to showcase that. Let's skip ahead to the end screen. Apologize, I was replaying that. Okay, there we go. There is the end screen. Because it's different. It's really bright, actually, compared to the other other end screens that I've seen for Apex Legends. There's this pretty nice look at that very very vibrant very bright they definitely put them right in line with the sun 
to really highlight, except for the one on the far left. Kind of get a little bit of shadow there, but if you're in the center, you really stick out in the center, which is pretty cool. So a good amount of damage there, not too bad. Let's see here. Okay, so the reason I put this footage in here, because I want to showcase what happens when you get downed. And I, the longbow, oof, any sniper on this map is is so good. And that person right there, the reason why I was using this footage too, <laughs> this poor person on the right got obliterated by the prowlers. See how they're down? We, I don't even think we downed them. I think the prowlers just overwhelmed them. So if you see these structures on the right, you need to be very careful on playing near them because they do a lot more damage than you realize. And so I don't even know if this is the same team here. Solid damage. And it happens to me. Look, look how much damage those things do. It's going to be fun. I don't know if we're competitive if I necessarily like it. I don't necessarily want to be run up by two prowlers and then just get torn to shreds because it happens really quick in the health deficit and we got rolled up there so i'm gonna skip ahead real quick so i want to showcase okay so see how i crawl away and as they're getting thirded they clean up and i'm sneaking my way over it does take the resing right there it does take a moment for them to even chase you and it really stops people from wanting a third party look how f you can heal in this it's another big tip you again you can't really divert too much but it gives you that positioning power now the reason I, i'm going to keep running this footage is that what you're going to see here that i thought was really really nice is this whoever this watson was was absolutely insane the watson put the gen in the crevice so even though it's an open field that crevice because it takes us a while even with lobus q or whoever you're playing as to capitalize on an elimination we lost this encounter. This Watson just played this really, really well. And for those Watson players, you see how that gen is there? I whiffed a lot of shots. If I didn't whiff the shots, I think we probably would have won this. Maybe. But that gen there definitely healed them up a lot faster. And we can't nade them out at that point. So it's like Watson is able now to create space where it doesn't exist, which was what her strong suit should have been. And again, I, I whiffed too many longbow shots. I think if I landed more, then this would have been very, very different. But, you know, you live and you learn, and you can use the gravity cannon to get away. We'll skip right ahead, because we essentially rotate from this. Actually, I think we won this. Oh, but that's this is ash footage. Sorry. I did die here. Not going to sugarcoat it. Yeah, this Watson was really, really solid. She played the shield. So if your teammates go down to this map, play their shields. Whoever that Watson is, props to you. I don't know who that was, but you are cracked out of their minds. Anybody who played Watson at this point is just insane. So the reason I left this ash footage in is just because of the quick rotation and I want to showcase we see there's only one squad remaining and we want to push them immediately. And then we see them shooting from a distance and we're trying to just run up on them as quick as possible. So we use her ultimate. I whiff one of my shots but my teammates comes with me. I think I was playing with Dre on this one. We were allowed to squad up at this point. And there we go quick little dub there quick rotation to get it really threw them off actually and i think as everyone gets a little bit more used to ash's ultimate they'll prepare for it there is a really large noise that gets associated with that so let's skip ahead let's talk about i think this is a game as low but where i just snapped i think i got 11 eliminations here is loba so this compound here seems like it might be a potentially a hot drop not 100% sure. We'll see how this plays out. The loot is a little over underwhelming. And I'm going to showcase that with Loba's ultimate. So nice little cleanup there on Bloodhound. The all-star has been nerfed. It went from, I believe, 18 to 17 damage. I know it was reduced by one damage across the board. And they changed its reload just a little bit if I'm not mistaken but I, the L star did get a nerf I know it didn't look like that in the clip but it has another little tip the EVA 8 has also been nerfed it's actually in its weakest point that it ever has been it's another tip the ashes tactical that you see there it's pretty slow but if you anticipate where enemies are going to go that's where ashes tactical really benefits in time I think ash people who play ash are going to suck at throwing her tactical but in time they're going to get a lot better at it but that's just some of the tips that I can I can give you guys in looking at this map. So let's take a look at the loot table here in a second. It's not, even though there's a lot of structures here, I just did, look how much ammo. There wasn't as much energy ammo, the guns. There's not as much here as you think. 
So you, you need to stick with the structures and you need to stick with the bends. And I, I hope that they kind of fix this. That was kind of one of my complaints. Now the little tip with the car SMG, if you're using it, just kind of, it, it's just why I didn't use it until I grab a sight. When you tug to the right, you'll notice that the iron sights don't center. So I was using a lot more of the Volt initially because it was kind of frustrating me because I was I felt like I was looking at the wrong thing as I was trying to control the recoil. And it was a little confusing. So we got dumpster here a little bit. This map is overall really fun. I can't really stress it enough just how fun the map really felt. Just because of how much stuff there is. So nice two quick eliminations there. We move in. And this is where you see Watson really shine, especially with these type of buildings. I think Caustic is going to do very well for hunkering down these positions. There's all, It seems like there's always a place to kind of retreat to. So imagine as a Caustic, even Rampart. There's always a place that you can retreat to and then find new positioning. So let me skip ahead just a little bit. So we're at four eliminations here already. And then we rotate. Let's see here. Let me skip ahead. I get one knock here? I think I did. So nades are going to be good for... Uh, thermites are always really, really, really positive here. It's good for... There, but there's always a, a, a position and different angle that you can go. So solid clean up there. I think one thing that I notice in this map, and it might take a little bit of time for people to learn it as well, is I felt like some of us were always a little bit too much on top of each other. And even enemies, like, you'll notice that my teammate was there, but then somehow I got completely flanked. So you'll need to watch your crosses a bit more. And if you're running away as Ash, remember the noise that it makes. And because that, it doesn't last as long as a Wraith portal. And if somebody's chasing you, it's going to happen a lot faster than, than you think. That was a really good spray on the R301. Pretty solid there. I was, I was doing really, really well this round. Let's skip ahead, so we're kind of going to move out of this compound. And I, I think I was complaining a lot about the loot here. And then we rotate through. The, there's a lot of these little um, caves or compounds as you rotate in between. So you can think of them as choke points. But realistically, even if you're going through this, you notice that you can go left, you can go right. It doesn't feel like World's Edge where, do you know where the vault is specifically that I'm talking about? where it's just kind of a one-way tunnel at least there's a bit of a break in between i think we I, I thought that was a spider's nest but it's not these things look like they eat bullets i don't know if you can hide behind them we thought about testing it out but then we just decided to rotate instead let's take a look at the loot table again here see if i loot it up this is where loba it's not like overwhelming the loot you would think that it would be better but just for my personal take, it really was not. So let's skip a little bit further ahead. This is where we get into our next encounter. When I talk about the benefits of height. So we see a team that's right below us. Also, what's interesting is when you're shooting Ash, she doesn't make a robotic noise. She makes, she gets hit by like flush points. It was kind of, kind of trippy. So we're fighting from the low ground here, but we're able to get up. We have multiple avenues to get up. We have the zip line on the right, and I think we end up using Ash's ultimate here in just a second. This gets really, really chaotic. This gets intense. I calmed it in game for the Watson to throw her gen down, and the gen actually works. And it really helped us in the gunfight. So you're fighting from low ground. You know, holding defensive is not a bad thing until you can find your opening, because then another team do did roll up on them here. We see it here. Let's see if I common game. I told Ash, I think, to throw down. No, she did it on her own, and we just, I just like, screw it, let's go up. I think we, I took a little bit too much damage. I end up dropping. And remember, Ash's ultimate is only a one way street. I kind of forgot there as I was trying to go back and reposition her. Poor little Watson got eliminated. But they do get rolled up on. So if you're going to use Ash's ultimate, it might be good to use near zipline because that's the reason why I was able to get back up and into the fight. And it was coming in game. I saw my mic pop off here and then we go right back into it. And it looks like they were running from somebody. I don't really know what they were doing. And we decide to hold here. This is this was actually I found myself 
fighting here a lot, actually, when I think about it. I think this is more or less in the center of the map where all these structures were. This was a, was a pretty fun place to fight. I preferred the northwest side of the map compared to the south side. It was more or less a personal preference. We get the Watson back. And there was a lot of respawn beacons around the area. And then we run into another... We think there's another two teams here that you see. So while the car SMG is new, on this map, compared to Kings Canyon and World's Edge, I don't think that this map plays to the strength of the car. Personally. Unless you roll up right on top of them. If you can get right on top of them, then yes. And if you can get a sight, so you're not using the irons because they feel really wonky, then there is that benefit. Otherwise, the R301 just slaps the flat line. It's just better. Get yourself a sniper. Any one of those other guns, I think it's because of the horizontal recoil towards the end of the car that kind of kind of screws things up a little bit. All right, let me skip a little further ahead just until we get into the gunfight here. Here we have a solid spray. This was only round two, and the reason why some of the gameplay... Who did I knock there? Okay, I did knock one. That was kind of hiding there. We'll skip a little bit further ahead. Back to where we were at. There we go, that knock again. And then there is another squad that is actually right down below. So there is the Ash Ultimate just to get... You can get in and out, but it also causes a lot of trouble. And so now I'm back at nine eliminations. And then we pop a heat shield. And then, unfortunately, we lose this round. And I'm going to skip where height. Where we pretty much lost the height. So, oh my gosh. That was such an amazing tether. So, near zip lines, another little tip I can give for you guys. Especially if you're Ash. So, this Ash threw the tether on the ground to anticipate them coming up after the res. So, let me skip ahead to where you see it. There we go. See her tether? Tethered her there, and even when she tried to run, she's just all over the place. And the tether is really loud and kind of obnoxious, to say the least. So another little tip there to anticipate. And there's the elimination. 11 kills. Not too bad. And I'm going to skip ahead to where we made our mistake as a squad here. There's another big zip that you saw on the far right. Big, big zips, but they can also get you caught out. So if somebody's sniping... Just be mindful. You see the zip on the left here. You can you have two options. You can slide all the way down. You can take the zips. Options. Just make sure you don't get caught out and that it's not too awful. There's only a few squads left, so we rotate all the way in. It takes us a minute to rotate in. We had multiple ways to do it. This team, I guess just pay attention to your height and your verticality. Because there's some areas that I wasn't even aware of or just kind of running around kind of shocked that we couldn't find where the last teams were at and then we just got absolutely obliterated from height you can see it there and even know that this was accessible up there but hey nonetheless they they, they had it they had the triple takes they absolutely lasered there's a gen for some positioning but once they got the knock they knew that they they had us at that point so they went for the for the aggro push and it paid off for them so we got a little bit of footage here left hopefully you guys found this all this footage insightful hopefully it's helpful for you guys this is a solid uh this is another win that we had towards the end here it was really really nice so let me see here this was you notice uh, the the zones and where they play it's, it seems like i think this video is good because it kind of highlights where some of the consistent positive areas to play are that was a really nice spray because i'm back here again this slot is really nice to kind of fight in just because of the various angles that you get at least that's what I found. Decent spray. This is by the Jurassic Park fences over on the right, by the way. Skip just a little bit ahead and then we're going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys found this all helpful. So hopefully it gives you insight on where positioning is. Oh, this is another great footage of where two Ashes are using their ultimate back and forth. Watch out for the Prowlers. That Lobo got absolutely messed up by the Prowlers. I decided to do a finisher just to flex because there's only one squad left. Okay, so the Ash, Ashes, they're about to use their ultimate. So there's their Glaives. One uses the ultimate to push in. One uses the ultimate to get out. So I think some interesting plays are going to be able to happen with a lot of Ash ultimates, especially with Wraith ports. And be sure to check out my Ash guide because I'm going to cover all of that 
there there's a lot of interesting synergy especially with their tactical and ultimate especially when it comes to wraith some things that are a little bit surprising hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully some was some decent gameplay that you guys can enjoy with various legends you know i played a little bit less with ash i wanted to showcase the loot table the rotations everything in it so thank you guys so much for watching as well and this was covered in my watson video but you can watch that there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in the next video